Excuse me, I'm sorry to disturb you. Yes, what is it? I'm so confused because this is my first trip by rail. But you seem to be in my seat. What do you mean, your seat? Here is my ticket. It says car 7, seat 13A. Okay, you're right, seat 13A. But you are in the wrong place. This is car 6, not 7. Hi, I'm Dorothy Myers. Have a seat, please. Hi, I'm Arnold Jacobs. It's nice to meet you. Can I offer you anything to drink? No, thanks. You were highly recommended by one of my co workers, Jack Anderson. Thank you. I heard from Jack that you might drop by. Frank, do you have a minute? Sure. What's up? As you know, I'm writing an article about the exhibition that you held. Yeah, I can't wait to read it. Do you need any help with it? Well, I took some pictures at the exhibition to put in the article, but I deleted them by mistake. Don't worry, I have lots of pictures at home. May I help you? That cheesecake looks delicious. How much is it? It's $30 for the whole cake, or $5 per slice. Okay, I'll take two pieces. All right. Would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'll have two medium coffees. There's tons of information about hotels online. That's exactly what I'm saying. Then how about buying a travel guidebook? That's a good idea. I'll go to the bookstore right away. I recommend buying one written by the locals. Okay, thanks. Debbie, are you ready for your interview next week? I'm not sure. This is my first job interview. So I'm pretty nervous. Don't worry, you'll do fine. You're a great speaker. Do you think so? Of course. So, have you practiced answering any interview questions? Yeah, just some common ones. Our company has finally decided to allow employees to work from home. Oh, that's really good news. I know. I'm so happy because I can cut out all the time I spend commuting. Great. You're always stressed out by your commute. You're right. And I can also put more energy into my actual work. There is something wrong with my dog's paw. Let me take a look. Which one? The front right one. I can see it hurts. He's licking it. I thought maybe it would get better on its own. Can you hold him while I take a look? 
I think he has a sliver of glass in his paw. How was the board meeting? It was productive. Sally, I have something important to tell you. Really? What is it? The board wants you to present your business proposal at the meeting next week. Really? I didn't know they were interested in my proposal. Which airport should we fly to? JFK is closer to the company we're visiting. Oh, you're right. Let's go there. Then we have two options non stop or one stop. I don't want to spend hours waiting for a connecting flight. Same here. We should choose the non stop flight. What do you want to do today? Why don't we take a walking tour downtown? I heard it's a must do. I don't think a walking tour is a good idea. Why not? It's very cold and windy today. We might catch a cold if we walk outside too long. I've never seen you before on the subway. I started taking the subway just a few days ago. Really? I thought you drive to work. Is your car broken? No, it's not. It's in my garage, safe and sound. Then do you have any special reason for taking the subway? It's become pretty expensive to drive to work recently. I'd like to send this to our office downtown. How long will it take to get there? About five hours. Five hours? Is there any way to get it there faster? Yes, we can deliver it within two hours for an extra charge. How much will that cost? $30. But it can be more depending on the type of packaging. Hi, can I get some help over here? Sure, what can I help you with? I'm thinking of buying this washing machine. Good choice. It's our best selling model. I really like its design and it has a lot of useful features. I'll take it. Great. However, you'll have to wait for two weeks. We're out of this model right now. Hi. Are tickets for the opera still available? Yes, we have some, but near the back. That's okay. How much are they? They're $50 each for adults and $35 each for children. I'll take two adult tickets, please. I have a membership card. I get 20% off with it, don't I? Yes, you do. You can get the discount for both tickets with your card. Did you hear that? Seaside Hotel in Jeju is looking for a head chef. No, I didn't. But I'd love to have that job. Tell me about the position. Well, you need to start from next week, and you have to live in a dormitory. Okay, I can do that. What kind of work experience is required? 
at least five years as a chef at a hotel. I've got that. You look so puzzled, David. What's the matter? I got this present from my friend yesterday, but all the instructions are written in Chinese. So you don't know how to use it? I don't even know what it is. Why don't you ask your friend? I can't get in touch with him. Tom, look at this flyer. Home appliances are on sale this week. Hmm, how about buying a new coffee maker for the office? Ours is too old and breaks down often. Do you have a particular model in mind? Well, I like this one with a built-in grinder so that our coffee tastes fresh. But we already have a grinder. Oh, right. Then let's choose one without a grinder, but with a cup warmer. You should choose a more level-appropriate English book. You'll be able to read faster. That makes sense. But I thought I would learn English better if I read difficult things. Well, when learners read English books that are too hard, they get exhausted and easily give up studying. I see what you mean. Reading at an appropriate level is more enjoyable and motivates learners to keep going. There's a water leak under the sink. Let me see. I think the nut on the pipe is loose. Do you think we can fix it, or do we need to call a plumber? I can do it. All I have to do is tighten the nut with a wrench. Wait. I lent our wrench to Susan the other day. She hasn't returned it yet. Mr. Parker, what are you doing? Hi, Ms. Brown. I'm looking through some pamphlets from the zoo. Wow, that's a lot of pamphlets. What are you going to do with them? I'm making some reading material for our field trip to the zoo. Good idea. That'll make students more excited. Excuse me, but can I ask you a couple of questions for this survey? Okay. First, how often do you exercise? A. Never. B. Hardly ever. C. Sometimes. Or D. Often. Well, I try to stay healthy, so my answer is D. Okay, second question. How often do you eat fast food? A. Never. B. Hardly ever. C. Sometimes. Or D. Often. I guess the answer would have to be C. Hello? Hey, it's me, honey. I have good news. What is it? I don't have to go on a business trip this weekend. Oh, really? That's terrific. Then we can take the trip we planned, right? Sure.
I have food poisoning. I'm sorry to hear that. Have you seen a doctor? Yes, I have. I'm getting better now. Well, that's good, but you should still take it easy. Okay. By the way, were there any assignments in class today? Don't worry about homework assignments. Is Miss Smith in? She's in an editorial board meeting at the moment. Can I help you? I want to check the status of my book. Oh, let me check your file. Hmm. We're going to start printing it next week. That's great. Is there anything else I can help you with? Hi, Steve. I dropped by to pick up the budget report for this month. I'm almost done. Why don't you have a seat while I finish? Okay. How come you have so many programs open at once? I need them all to write up this report. Then why don't you use two monitors? How did you get rid of those useless ads? Well, I installed an ad blocking program. It stops virtually all pop ups. Can you tell me the name of the program? It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember it right now. Could you tell me later? Sure. I'll text you when I get home. Hey, Jennifer. There's something different about you today. Yeah, I got my hair cut yesterday. How do I look? That style really suits you. What's the name of the hair salon? It's called Beautiful Hair, Wonderful Day. Can you tell me where it is? Sure. It's located on Main Street near the Central Shopping Mall. Help! I think my computer's going crazy. Oh, it looks like it's got a virus. What do I do? I don't know the first thing about computers. Don't look at me. I'm no computer expert either. It's erasing my files. Quick, we've got to do something before I lose everything. Well, maybe it's best to leave this to an expert. What are you looking at, Peter? A website that sells extension cords. I need to buy one because my new computer setup requires it. How many sockets do you need to set up your computer? I need at least four sockets. Don't buy the one with six sockets. It can overheat and cause a fire. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Excuse me, sir. I was wondering if I could ask you a huge favor. Yes. What is it? Well, are you sitting with anyone? No. Oh, then would you switch seats with my friend? We bought tickets at the last minute and were not able to get seats next to each other. No problem. 
Let me just get my coat. Hi, my family and I are planning to travel from Boston to Philadelphia. How much is the fare? The standard fare is $100 per person. How many people will be traveling? Two adults and one child. Do you have a discount for children? Yes. Children from ages 2 through 11 get 40% off the standard fare. Oh, that's too bad. My daughter is 13. Molly, don't you know our group project is due tomorrow? Yes, I do. I did my best. I'm not sure if we'll get a good grade. I've taken a look at the part you prepared and found a lot of mistakes. Oh, really? Look at this. The year should be 1979, not 1997. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry about that. What else? I can't believe we have such a wonderful open space here, on top of our office building. It was so messy up here before. Yes, there was nothing but junk and old equipment. Now it's a renewed space with all of these beautiful flowers, trees, and wooden benches. It's totally refreshing. I feel like I'm on top of a mountain. I'm going to come up here often. Mary, would you like to come to my house this evening for dinner? I'd love to. What's the occasion? Well, we're having a farewell party for my younger brother. He's going abroad next Monday. Oh, nice. Would you like me to bring any food to the party? No, just come and have a good time. We'll take care of the food. Hey, Kelly. Have you been to the Bradford Museum of Failure? I've never even heard of it. What kind of exhibitions do they have? They exhibit failed products from the world's best-known companies. Interesting. I wonder why they opened that kind of museum. It was founded to deliver the message that we need to admit our failures to truly succeed. I'm John Carter, producer of The Wisdom Quiz Show at CBC. May I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Thanks. We've made quiz questions for the show, and we could use your input on some of them. Hmm. Do I have to visit your office? We could do it by email, but it'll be better if you stop by in person. Well, I think I can be there, if it's not Monday. Alice, did you finish the report? Not yet. I haven't decided which graph I'll use. Let me see. How about the line graph with dots? I'm afraid it might not be good for my report this time. Then how about one of the bar graphs? They're a lot easier to understand. That's what I was thinking. Jack, what are you doing? Hey, Julia. I want to buy a laptop, so I'm looking at this price comparison site. Ah, 
Have you decided which one you're going to buy? Yes, model PJ6370. You can see it here on the screen. Looks nice. How much are you willing to pay? Up to $1,500. What did you do last Saturday, Steve? I went hiking. How about you, Brenda? I made some candles for my mom and sister. I actually love making candles. Cool. Is there a special reason for that? I like doing it because it relaxes me. Oh, that's good. Also, candles make great presents. How may I help you? I'm wondering if you can do anything with this racket. Let's see. Oh, it's damaged. I dropped it and stepped on it by mistake while I was playing badminton in the gym yesterday. I can replace the broken strings easily, but I can't guarantee that I can fix the bent frame. Could you try to fix it for me, please? I have to use this tomorrow. Wow, that digital camera looks great. Is it the latest model? Yes, it is. You'll be surprised when I tell you how much it cost. How much was it? The original price was $500 but I only paid $300. Great! How did you get such a big discount? This camera was a display model. Is there anything to eat, George? I'm starving. I thought there was some pizza in the refrigerator, but it's gone. I don't feel like cooking. Why don't we order out? Okay, let's get some Chinese food. No, it's too greasy. How about Korean food instead? Now that you mention it, I'd like a Korean meal. What are you looking at on your smartphone? I'm watching the movie Romeo and Juliet. I didn't know you're interested in romantic movies. I'm not really. Well, do you like the actors in the movie? Actually, I'm going to play Juliet in the play, and I'm watching this because I want to better understand my role. Andrew, you look unhappy. What's wrong? Hi, Ms. Benson. I've been trying this experiment again and again, but it's not working. Why isn't it working? I don't know. Maybe I don't have much talent. Don't be so hard on yourself. I believe that the path to success is through analyzing failure. Honey, I think it's time to replace the kids' beds. Right. We should buy a new kitchen table, too. I heard the World Furniture Expo starts soon. Should we go there? Yeah. That would be a good place to compare the quality and prices of the furniture. When is it? It's from September 16th through the 18th, and it's not far from here. Perfect.
Hey, Linda, did you find a website that sells picnic tables? Yeah, come over here. Here's one that has some. Wow, they have a good selection. What kind of table should we get? I think a square one is better than a round one. Hmm, but I think a round one would be safer for the children. That's a good point. I didn't think of that. I'm sorry, could we take a quick break? I'm just not getting it right. What's the matter? I don't know, but I do have a sore throat. Maybe you need something to drink. We've been practicing for over an hour. I'm going to get a cup of hot tea. Maybe that'll help. While you're doing that, I'm going to play through that last song again. If you could visit any country in the world, which one would you choose? Why do you ask? I came in first place on a quiz show. The prize is a round-trip airplane ticket to any destination. Congratulations! That's great news! What would you like to do on your trip? I'd like to relax on a beach. Well, you'll have to do some research. Honey, I heard the Smith family moved out to the countryside. I'm so jealous. Really? Why is that? I think we can be healthier if we live in the country. Hmm. Can you be more specific? The air in the city is so polluted. It's much cleaner in the country. You have a point. There are way fewer cars in the countryside. You promised not to bring any work with you. I know, but my boss gave me an assignment at the last minute. Why didn't you tell him you couldn't do it? You could have at least told him that you'd do it after you get back. I'm sorry, honey, but I really need to finish this. We should have stayed at home instead of spending so much money for this trip. We've got three hours before the tour bus leaves. What do you want to do? How about taking a boat ride around the lake? I don't think we have enough time. Sure we do. The next boat leaves in 30 minutes, and the sign says the trip lasts an hour and a half. We've got plenty of time then. Let's do it. Have you practiced answering any interview questions? Yeah, just some common ones. And you researched the company, didn't you? Research the company? Do I need to do that? Absolutely. It's important to find out as much information as you can. Well... I know that the company is well known for advertising. Alice, why didn't you come to the music festival yesterday? I was busy doing my homework. I wish I could have gone. How was it? It was great. My favorite band signed my ticket. Wow! Can I see it? Sure, it's in my wallet. Wait, my wallet. It's gone. Really? Look in your coat pockets. Maybe it's there.
Hi, how's it going? I haven't seen your son Derek for a while. Is he okay? Yeah, he seems okay, but he doesn't talk with me like he used to. Well, that's a sign of growing up. That's true, but my concern is that he only stays in his room after he comes home. Does he hang out with his friends? Not very often these days. Hmm, maybe once every other week? Hello, Sammy. Where are you off to? It's Saturday, so I'm going to play football in the park with my friends. Didn't you hear the weather forecast? No, I didn't. Why? What's the problem? There's a heavy rainstorm coming soon. You shouldn't go outside. What do you mean? It's not raining. I'm sure it'll be okay. Hey, Sylvia. I saw your new movie a few days ago. Thanks, Jack. I had so much fun acting in that movie. I'm sure you did. Sylvia, I'm going to be directing a new movie. You'd be perfect for the lead role. Oh, really? What's the movie about? It's a comedy about a dreamer who just moved to a new town. That sounds interesting. I'd love to be in it. Courtney, what do you think about the applicant we interviewed this morning? I think he had a positive attitude about the job. How about you? I feel the same way. But there's one thing I'm worried about. What's that? He doesn't have much experience related to the position. What are you reading? It's an article about next year's fashion trends. So what does it say is going to be popular? It says miniskirts will be back in style. Oh, that's good. What else does it say? It says that tracksuits will be even more popular among women than they were this year. Would you care for some dessert? No, thank you. May I have the bill, please? Of course. Did you enjoy your meal? For the most part. The coffee wasn't very good, though. I asked for sugar, but you forgot to bring it. Did I? I'm so sorry. We've been very busy today. I won't forget anything next time.